you had a good day. If not, hope you get to make up for it over the weekend. And if you're new here, my hope is by the end of each video, you've learned something valuable and be encouraged to create daily. In today's video, I'll show you how to create transitions like this. This one is a masking transition. In order for it to work, the full screen needs to be covered from top to bottom. Doesn't matter what it is that goes across it, it has to cover from the top to the bottom. So let's jump into Premiere and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so now that we are in Premiere, the one thing you need to know is that, so this is my, my second clip and this is my first clip right here. So by using that bar that goes across from the top, to the bottom that covers the entire screen. So I've already dragged my first clip on top and then put the other one right under it. So once I create that mask around this, it will reveal the other clip that is under. Select the, the top clip, go into free draw brazier, create couple points. But before you do that, let's just put it at 75% so you can have some room to work with it. And now it's already showing whatever it is that's under and then go on on the left corner of your tablet, click invert. Toggle uh, mass path, mass fader, opacity and expansion. So once you do that, you select mask and then you're going to click track forward by one frame. So what it's going to do for each frame, you're going to click on that little moving forward so that way you are able to create your mask around it. So I'm just gonna fast forward this so that way you can kind of have an idea um, of how it looks. So once you're done, it should look something like this. All right, thank you for watching. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you Tuesday, 9 p.m. Peace.